All right, so uh, in this particular problem, you're going to look up three scenarios. Uh, the first one is an annual interest compounding. The second one is a quarterly interest compounding. And the last one is daily. Okay, so you're going to um, compare each of these. Okay, as far as the compound interest equation, the uh, amount, the balance amount that you have is going to be your principal, 1 plus whatever the interest rate is divided by the number of compoundings, all to the power of the number of uh, compoundings times the time in years. And so it's just a matter of uh, what's your n value for each of these, because our r value is 0 0.06, the decimal form of the interest. Our t value is our unknown. Our uh, original principle was the deposit. The amount is the balance at the end of time t. And so the only thing you need to do is figure out what are the number of compoundings in each of these scenarios. So for an annual compounding, it's once a year. Quarterly, it's every three months or four times a year. And daily is, again, assuming it's a, a non-leap year, is 365. And so it's just a matter of, of taking that equation, A equals, or in this case, plugging in the values for it, 1,000 is equal to 100 times 1 plus 0 0.06 over, again in this case, 1 to the 1 times T, and solve for T. In the second scenario, we replace in this case, the second scenario, we replace the n value right here with a 4 and replace this with a 4. And in the final scenario, you replace the this with a 365 in each of these cases. Okay, so if we take it and calculate this, okay, what I'm going to do is set up my solve feature. Type in our equation, 1,000 is equal to 100. You have to make sure you explicitly multiply here. If you just put parentheses, it may not understand that. It may require you to uh, enter something else. In this case, you're okay. You should be okay. But I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my... Um, or I'll type each of these in. So 0 0.06 divided by... 1, which I don't actually even need anything there, to the power of 1 times t. Again, I don't really need to put my 1 there, but I will just to demonstrate where things are. And I'm solving for t. So when I hit enter, I get my answer here to be approximately 40 years or 39.5 years. Okay, if I go to my next scenario, again, all I have to replace here is exchange the 1 for a 4. So I replace it in both places where the number of compoundings would occur. So right here and here. And when I replace that and hit enter, I get uh, 38.66. So 38.7 approximately. And then finally, my last scenario is 365. So now I'm going to replace my 4s with 365, where each of the values for n go. And so here I get 38.4 as my solution. And again, I'm not. I'm not sure what I had you round it to. Did it, does it specify? Oh, so two. So. We want to go back and I can look at each of these. So this is 38.38. Uh, okay, this quarterly one is uh, 38.66. And the annual one is 39.52.